Hello friends, this is Deepak Kumar, Assistant Professor in Kite Group of Institution Kaziabad. In this lecture, we will discuss the control and status signals of 8085 microprocessor. I already discussed these two terms, control and status signals, in my previous lecture, that is in 8085 internal architecture, as well as the pin diagram of 8085 microprocessor. In this lecture, we will discuss it in detail. So, these are the contents for today's lecture. First of all, we will discuss the status signals of 8085 microprocessor and then we will focus on the control signals of 8085 microprocessor that is read, write and input output oblique and complement. In the same way, the status signals are address latch enable, S1 and S0. So, if we are talking about address latch enable, so as we know that 8085 address lines are basically divided into two half, the lower half and the upper half. So this one is the lower half and this one is your upper half. That is A15 to A8, that is your upper half and the lower half is your A7 to A0. These are 8 bits and these are 8 bits. And we know that the address lines basically contains total 16 bits information. Out of these 16 bits, the lower half 8 bits are multiplexed with the data bus also. So that's why these 8 bits are basically represented as AD7 to AD0. Because it contains the address information as well as the data information also. So when it will contain the address information, when it will contain the data information, if we want to identify this discrimination, so for that purpose, we generally use this address slash enable pin. When the value of this address slash enable pin is equal to one, that means that it basically contains the address. So 87 and 80 not, that means these eight bits are nothing but that is your address. Okay, when the ALE value is equal to 0, that means that 8 bit information contains data. As I earlier told you that these are multiplexed information. That means at a particular time, it will not con consider as a both, that means address as well as data. For some particular time, it will be considered as address line and for some particular time, it will be considered as a data line. So how it will be discriminated with the help of ALE. When the value of ALE is equal to 1, then it will contain address. When this the value is 0, then these 8 bits basically considered as a data. Okay, so these are the, mean, the uh, meaning of this address slash enable. Now we have S1 and S0. So S1 and S0 are basically used to identify that which operation actually microprocessor wants to perform. Or we can say that which operations actually instruction tells to microprocessor that what is the processing that is your read or the write processing okay so if you want to identify that uh, read operation is performed or the write operation is performed for that purpose we generally use these two pins okay that is your s1 and s0 in the same way, if we are talking about the control signals information, so we have uh, uh, these three control pins that is read complement, write complement, input oblique and complement. When we have complement for a particular pin, what does it mean? It means that that is your active low signal. That means when it is 0, then it is active and when it is 1, then it is deactive. That is active low signal. But let's suppose if only this RD is available, so that means that is your active high signal. That means when the value is high, then this is active and when the value is low, then this is deactive. Okay, so that's why whenever you have complement for a particular signal, then it considered as active low signal. As the name suggests read and write, so let's suppose if this is your microprocessor, this is your MUP. And this is your main memory okay 
when microprocessor takes this information let's suppose when the microprocessor uh, reads the data of the main memory then this is what this is your read operation and when microprocessor provide the information to main memory that means that is your write operation okay so taking the information that means read the information providing the information that means that is your write operation okay as the name suggests so this is your read and write operations so when this uh, pin is uh, zero when the value of this pin is zero that means this is uh, this uh, this is performed read operation and the, when the value of this pin is equal to zero then it is performed write operation okay read and write operations can be performed in memory as well as in input output devices okay so here uh, memory read and memory write operation is performed in the same way when microprocessor is communicated with the peripheral devices or we can say that the input output devices then read and write operation is known as input output read and input output write so how can we find out that the read and write operation is performed through the input output devices or through the memory so if we want to discriminate that so for that purpose we generally use this third pin that is input output oblique m complement okay so when this input output oblique m complement value is equal to 0 that means 0 means if we are talking about memory so memory ka complement so what does it means that is your active low signal so when the value is 0 that means whatever the read operation is performed write operation is performed that operation is performed through the memory okay when this value is equal to 1 that means high so in io input output devices is basically your active high that means read and write operation is performed through input output devices that is read input output and write input output okay when the value of this particular pin is 0 then the read and write operation is performed through memory okay so that is actually the meaning of this third pin so now we will discuss that uh, what is actually uh, the value what are the operations are performed when the difference values of uh, input output oblique and complement s1 and s0 so when s1 and s0 when s1 and s0 is equal to 10 that means it will perform read operations that means read operation is performed okay right now i am not saying that it is memory read or input output read but when s1 and s0 is equal to 10 then it is your read operation when it is 01 then it is your write operation still it is not clear that this write operation is from memory or input output devices but it is clear that when s1 and s0 is equal to 01 then it will provide the write operation okay okay in the same way we want to discriminate that uh, it is performed through the input output or through the memory so for that per particular purpose we generally use this input output oblique and complement when this is zero that means the operation is performed in memory and when it is one that means the operation is performing input output devices okay so when this value is zero s1 is one s2 is zero s11 s2 uh, sorry s11 s0 is zero means it, that is your read operation so here we just perform read operation it is clear by these two pin so from where it is performed it will be identified via this particular value okay if it is zero that means the read operation is performed through the memory okay here it is zero that means read uh, memory may, uh, the operation is performed in memory what is the value of s1 s0 that is 0 1 that means the write operation is performed in memory okay similarly if input output oblique m complement is equal to 1 and s1 and s0 is equal to 1 0 that means the write operation is sorry the read operation is performed but where from input output devices 0 1 that means write operation is performed from where here it is 1 so that's why it is from input output devices that's why it is input output write okay okay when when s1 and s0 is equal to 1 1 at that particular time no read and no write operation is performed actually at that time the instructions are fetched from the main memory that means the instruction are fetching and oh, we we actually say that the op code are actually fetching from the main memory okay in the same way when s1 and s0 is equal to 1 1 and 
input output of the m complement is equal to 1 that means this is your interrupt acknowledgement that means uh, i just told you that i n t a pin okay that is your active low low signal spin okay interrupt acknowledgement is basically used uh, to tell the other devices that right now the microprocessor is busy in interrupt handling okay so that 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 signal is provided to other devices to inform that uh, that the microprocessor is right now busy to handling the interrupt okay so that is your interrupt acknowledgement so when this particular condition is exists then uh, microprocessor is handling the interrupt okay and it sends the signals to other devices that right now the microprocessor is busy input output complement uh, input output oblique m complement value is equal to z z means what z means uh, is that that means the buses are in tri state okay or we can say that uh, here the microprocessor is in very high impedance state okay or we can say that when the accumulator value is zero that means when we reset uh, the microprocessor uh, then in, uh, the microprocessor comes into the tri state condition okay so when input output public m complement is, is in tri state and s1 and s0 is equal to zero so that is your halt condition that means stop uh, that uh, stop the operations that is actually the meaning of this halt operation okay so we just stop the operations that means uh, microprocessor is reset that means the program execution has been performed okay so that is actually the meaning of this particular values so uh, this is the representation of control and uh, status signals of 8085 microprocessor uh, these are the references for you know, for this particular lecture so now in next lecture we will discuss another concept till then thank you so much